Yo, what up? I'm Hip Hop Gamer. Check it. Let's go, go now. Bring the heat to your town. Spin rounds automatically. You back down. I'm in the zone right now. So you know better four letters. H-A-T-E me now. It's on because I said so. Y'all better lay low. My pistol make you duck, duck. Getting stuck up. Bust up. What, what? Heartbeat. Kool-Aid. Bitch, bet the fuck up. Jump up. You get beat down so fast. Two-piece. Spit your body. Then you half fast. I'm a menace with the lyrics when I flow fast. Shotgun to your face. Then your toe tag. Call me hip-hop gamer for the danger. Anger. Stay rolling with a banger. East coast, west coast, north side, south side. We ride my hood. Nigga, stand up. Real shit. Real hits. I spit. I give. Everything I am to this rap shit In the booth, in the hood, on stage For the block, stay hot, hip-hop Now watch this Super lyrical, I'm killing you or murder anybody If they wanna battle, my mental is critical Understand my visual, I'm what you wanna do You can talk shit, but bitch, what you gon' do? Target Reason Big bitch, start game Shot fire Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy, Hip Hop Gamer Welcome to Shot Sh- Fire. You know how it goes down Listen, Nintendo versus Wii U, the gift and the curse. First thing I want to talk about is this, right? The fear of moving forward, 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 the fear of it. Like, I don't understand this, and this comes from a technology standpoint. One of the things that Nintendo recently you know, came out and said, which is something that I've been saying, and everybody tried to, uh, especially like the Nintendo fanboys that only see, breathe, eat, sleep Nintendo, and that's it and don't understand that you need some sort of criticism to help people out. Here's the thing. Like, when, the, when Nintendo Wii U came out, it came out a year before the PS4 and Xbox One. It was caught between old generation and new generation. So it's a little bit better than PS3 and 360 spec-wise, but it's nothing compared to PS4 and Xbox One. What did that create? It created, and Nintendo said all of this themselves, but what did that create? That created an issue with third-party development. You know what I'm saying? Now, with third-party development, they trying to do what? Move forward with their games and their franchises and things of that nature. But when you got lack of technology, it's hard to showcase what you want to show when you always feel held back. And when there's other companies and other platforms to show what you want to show, then guess what? you're going to get left behind. And that's exactly what's going on with the Wii U right now. They, they are left behind, and the Wii U business is done, is dead, is dying, slow death. You know what I'm saying? And it upsets me because I'm a big fan of Nintendo. I'm a fan of games. Y'all know how I get down. But it upsets me because technology is designed to move forward. Creativity helps you move forward. Nintendo is pioneers in the creative business. And for them to allow this to happen is sad. You see what I'm saying? So now they're talking about uh, bringing a brand new system very soon. It doesn't work like that in the business of games, in the game industry. You can't just, all right, we messed up, so let me just make something new real quick to catch up. No, it don't work like that. You see what I'm saying? You got to go back to the drawing board. You have to understand something about your company. Now, I'm going to give you guys a little lesson right now with Nintendo and why this is the gift and the curse. Now, with Nintendo, since Nintendo back in the 80s, right, they started out selling like, I think, I think it was like 70-something million on the Nintendo. Then Super Nintendo came out. They dropped to like 49 million, I believe, so uh, overall throughout that generation. Each generation of a Nintendo console saw significant drops at the end of their lifeline. Then everything came back up when the Wii came. But we already, we already know the Wii was ma- mainly a novelty. You see what I'm saying? Now, we, we're with the Wii U. We're with Nintendo. And we're with technology. And you know what we're also with? The lack of forward movement. Nintendo, I love you. But wake the fuck up. So now, the second point I want to make. You guys, Nintendo versus Wii U. Love Nintendo. But you ran from competition. You ran from Sony. All right? You ran from Microsoft. I don't give a damn what nobody say. This is the truth, and this needs to be said. When you love somebody, this is called tough love. I'm getting in that ass right now. You already know what time it is. I'm telling you. Why did you run from competition? i give you an example of that. The Wii. The Wii was specifically designed to target the non-hardcore. So I'm going to convey this analogy like the human body. 
when you working out and you doing exercises, yeah, you can have big arms and all that stuff could look good. Legs could be nice. But if you don't work out that core, all this other stuff, it look good, but it's not the root of your success. The root of your success comes from the core. That's the stability, your torso, your spine. That's what makes you walk. You know what I'm saying? And the Wii got away from that. You want to know why? Because Nintendo said it themselves. They aren't that great when it comes to dealing with competition. They said it themselves. And the Wii was the perfect opportunity for them not to be dreamcasted. I don't give a damn how much money they have in a bank. It's not about how much money you have in a bank. It's about what makes sense for your business to grow. This is not the business of, I got money, so let's keep spending it until we don't got none no more and see what works. No, it's the business of growth and market share. You feel me? And the we was, ob was an obvious cop-out. Yeah, it's sure you want to reach new people and get them in. That's great. But you left your core in the process of doing that. So third parties didn't want to really work with you because they couldn't find success within, with you guys on that front. How can I prove this? Okay. Sega. Now, Sega... Hardcore. They make great games. You know what I'm saying? And Sega took their attempt to make a great game. Now, off the top of my head, like, there's so much stuff I want to say, you know, about this game. But I'm going to just say this. It was bloody. It was gory. It was Sega. And guess what happened? It didn't do well on the Wii. And the problem with that is reflected with the situation that they're going through right now. Shots fired! You know what I'm saying? It bothered me because it's one of those situations where when you look at Nintendo that's been such a staple in what we love and what we grew up on, to run away from competition? That's blasphemous, dog. That's blasphemous, all right? So, on the last note, when it comes to running away from competition... It's time to get your heart back. It's time to fight back. Because you fought with Nintendo. Why? Nintendo versus Sega Master System. You fought with Super Nintendo. Why? Super Nintendo versus Sega Genesis. You fought with Nintendo 64. Why? Nintendo 64 versus PlayStation. You fought with the GameCube. Why? GameCube versus PlayStation 2. You fought. We need that fight back, Nintendo. We love you. We miss you. We need you back. But until you find your creative edge when it comes to the core, shot fired. You're dead. Third situation right now and final that i'm gonna speak on right now during this show. now listen right nintendo you guys are leading without followers how the hell does that sound you're leading without followers that means you run around in a circle like a dog catching his tail dog that's what you're doing you know what i'm saying within the wii u business right you go to the, v, the, the VGX Video Game Awards, which needs some fucking help. But you went there, right, to show off the fact that you got another character, Diddy Kong or whatever. You got another character, Crazy Kong, whatever. You got another character in your game. You take a big stage like that just to say you got another character. You know what that shows me as a gamer, as a Nintendo lover? It shows me y'all ain't got shit, but y'all needed the time to say something. If what are you serious right now? That's the first thing, right? Now with the Wii U, you have a gamepad, right? It's supposed to do all these cool features, all these cool functions. Super Mario 3D World blew me away. They showed me a whole bunch of functions. That's one out of how many games that don't show these great functions? It's a problem with the fucking leadership over there at that company. From marketing which is horrible. People didn't even know that the Wii U was its own system. They thought the controller, the gamepad, was a damn add-on to the Wii. You know what I'm saying? Who are you guys reaching? What are you doing? You feel me? Then another thing is, you guys are trying to cop out by utilizing old 
schemes, old tricks. This is not the 80s, baby. You know what I'm saying? It's the millennium. It's 2000s, baby. And last, but certainly not least, dog, when you want to lead, first you need to learn. First you need to learn. And there was a time where Sony and Nintendo was going to do some things together because Sony was moving forward and Nintendo was stuck in their cartridge ways. Okay? Now, we see who actually have the eye of the future, and that's Sony. Microsoft is doing a good job as well, but they still need some work. But Sony right now, they got that competitive edge. They got the eye of the tiger. They understand what the gamer wants. Nintendo, you guys used to be the fucking pinnacle of knowing what gamers wanted. Mike Tyson punch out. Metroid. You know what I'm saying? Like, do I need to go on? You know what I'm saying? Like, Legend of Zelda. Like, you guys are the pinnacle of what we love, of what we do. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Contra. Like, all these games you had. Castlevania's. Now Castlevania is not even on your system. Quiet. Wake the fuck up. I love you guys. I love y'all, Nintendo. I love you. But I'm going to always be real with you. And that's what a lot of fanboys don't do. They only see the good, 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 good. I see great. I see the greatness in you. And sometimes you need some tough love and a tough push to make it come out. So now we know that you brought a billion dollars worth of your own shares. I hope you did it for a reason. Can't wait to see what you guys do at E3. And I want you guys to come storming back. Make this a fight again. All right? Nintendo, I love you guys, man. It's your boy, Hip Hop Gamer. Number one, the best. You know what it is. One love and God bless. Peace out. It's your boy, Hip Hop Gamer. Welcome to the Now Digital Network.